hey what's up guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video so in this video we're going to continue working on with our initialize.php uh, file so this is actually the part 3 of our php rest tutorial in api or i mean in php so now let's just continue working on with this uh, initialize.php file so we have defined our site root and then uh, we supply the uh, directory that our uh, or the directory of our project so now let's just define the include path for our files so let's define and then inc and then path so it will just load all the necessary files in our include folders. Okay, so inc path, and then we need to bring in the site root. Okay, and then the directory separator, and of course the folder includes. Okay. So basically we're just saying here that we want to go or we want to define the include path as the site root which is 164 and then triple w and then php rest and of course the includes directory which is we have created the config.php file okay and of course we also need to do the same with our core directory okay so basically we're just defining here different directories in our project so it will make more sense later on when we try to include all these files or all the files in, uh, under these directories so core path and then it should be instead of using include it should be core okay so since we have these lines already we can just uh, load the config file first so to do that we need to uh, require once okay by using the constant inc path that we have defined uh, above and then the di directory separator and then the file or the actual file for our config which is config.php okay and of course we can also include the um, core classes here so let us say require once and then the core path which is our constant and then directory separator and of course say so for example we have um, session or any other classes from our core directory so say so for example we will create another one here say post post.php okay so in our initialize that php uh, we'll just say core path and then directory separator and of course the post.php okay so after that we need to go to our post.php file and configure the actual content of our post so basically we're just going to create a class here so php and class post and in here we need to add the uh, database stuff here so that will be pr uh, private and then the connection and we also have private and table which will be post okay 
And then, of course, we need to add also the post properties. So, that will be public ID, public category ID, public category name, public title of our post, and body of our post, and the author or author of our post, and also the date that the post has been created. So, there you go. And of course, we need to initialize this class or particular class by using the constructor with the db connection okay so that will be public function and then construct and of course we need to supply the database connection here and we need to set the connection or the attribute of this particular class connection to the database connection that we have supplied in our construct method or function okay so here you go and below this construct uh, construct method we need to have the function to actually uh, read the record from our database so public function and read okay so this is for uh, getting the post from our database and in here we need to create the actual query of our read function so that will be a query and then the select statement okay so we're just going to have this formatted so it is easy to read so select and then see that name as category name and p that i did this is for between category name or the category and of course the post so p that category id category id yeah and post title post body and of course the post author or author of our post and the date okay and in here we need to specify the table which are the what's uh table yeah this table which is we have in, uh, initialized it into post and then the name which is p or the alias of our table is p and then left join categories so this will involve two tables the post and categories so alias of categories is c and on p that category id equals c dot id and then we need to have this ordered by ordered by p that created created at it should be created at um descending to actually get the the latest post and we need to close this here okay and in here we need to 
Repair the statement. Repair the statement or prepare statement. Okay, and that's STMT. And then using the connection that we have. And of course, prepare method. And the actual query of our post. And execute query by calling stmt and then using the execute function okay and then we're just going to return the uh, stmt for now or, or the statement okay so I'll save this and then we also need to um, add another file or another directory here so no not there another directory for our api so in our uh, api we need to have the read that php file okay and then in the next video we're going to work with the read that php file and continue working on with our project so i know this won't make sense for now but bear with uh bear with me we will just uh, create all the necessary functions or all the necessary features for us to create the PHP REST API in PHP. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.